Denise. I was just wondering since love, the vibration of love is so predominant in this reality, how do you maintain the vibration of love within your own body? What type of techniques do you use to maintain a vibration of love? What type of disciplines do you use? Thanks. Thank you. That's a great question. Um, this kind of is in keeping with that question on Wednesday when somebody wrote me and said, how do I stay happy all the time? <laughs> and it's really not possible as human beings to be happy all the time because when we came into this incarnation, we signed up for the whole deal. And the whole deal involves challenges and valleys and, and, and setbacks and stuff. And so it's not realistic to expect ourselves to be happy all the time. But what Denise is talking about here is holding a specific vibration in your body and in your energy in a sustainable fashion because the longer we can hold a high vibration the more we are magnetic in a high vibration way and it's the magnetism that is the key to really changing our life because we're always emitting a signal no matter what we are always sending a transmission if you will into the ether into the universe and this is an attractive transmission that draws back to us evidences and conditions and experiences that match that signal or that match that transmission and so if we are mindful of our vibration and if we're paying attention to how we're walking around the planet and when we are consciously and intentionally running the energy of love well then we are magnetic at a high vibration way and this is how we have evidences in our life that we would call miraculous things like spontaneous healing things like psychic abilities things like abundance and attracting love all these things come part and parcel with holding and sustaining that high vibration so what denise is asking is how that how i do that personally and i do it by following something that i call and i really should write like a little ebook about this don't you think but I call this the bliss discipline and it is sort of titled after Joseph Campbell who is an esteemed teacher he wrote uh, the power of myth I mean I love I love Joseph Campbell may he rest in peace peace but he was the one who coined the term follow your bliss and he told us that because to follow your bliss meaning to put yourself in situations where you're blissed out and happy is the key to finding what you're supposed to be doing on this planet with your life, your life purpose. It's the key to finding those things that will make you even more blissful. It's the key. And so everybody in their life has something that they can do that makes them happy. Maybe you're a writer and just to sit down and write and sort of get lost in what you're creating is a happy zone for you. Maybe for you it's dancing or playing music. Maybe that's a happy zone for you. All it has to be is something that makes you smile and in a sustained fashion or really pleases you kind of to your bones. I call it the zing zing. It's a feeling that you're just vibrating, resonating, like the spirit inside of you is singing and it's affecting your vibration that is what we're going for and so that is what I look for and as I get older the things that make me happy in that way are getting simpler and easier you know maybe 10 years ago I was super blissed out when I got to go to Prague you know in the Czech Republic that was awesome but I, I can't always do that obviously and so I'm finding simpler things that make me happier for longer and as I've shared before things like gardening like Last night I made the most rockin' righteous salad, high vibration for real. And I just went outside off of my patio. I've got like this little herb table and I have this garden that we're working and it's just starting out. And I went and I just picked like radish sprouts. Do you know what I mean? And I picked like little bits of lettuce and basil and, and cilantro. And I got all these like beautiful, filled with earth energy, herbs and vegetables, and I made a salad out of it. And the entire thing probably took about an hour or two, so quite a while from start to finish, because you pick it, you wash it, you make it, and etc. But the whole time, I'm like zing zinging. I'm loving it, I'm thanking the plants, I'm putting my hand in the earth, and the earth energy is so ascended in high vibration. And so I make time for myself, is what I'm saying every single day to do something like that. It doesn't have to be the same thing every day. And in fact, if you do the same thing every day, you'll get less enamored with it, won't you? But it's the key is finding that thing for you or those things for you. And what the bliss discipline is, is essentially just compiling a list of things that turn you on, 
things that make you happy, things that make you smile, things that make you get lost in a zone. Like if you are a writer, you get lost in this writing zone, you know, and six hours later you pop your head up. You relate to this probably, huh, Alyssa? Because you're a writer. You pop your head up and, you know, six hours have gone by or seven hours have gone by and you haven't eaten or you haven't gone to the bathroom because you've been absorbed in the vibration of creation. And that is creator energy. So look for the things in your life like that. That's what I do. And I make sure as a discipline, as a practice, not unlike meditation or anything else that is spiritually edifying, a discipline. I make it a point to do those things every single day if I can manage it. My schedule is getting a little crazy these days, and so it's harder for me to actually find the time to be happy. Isn't that terrible? Like, the more busy you are, the more successful you are, like, the more opportunities you might have, the harder it actually is to really get simple with it and and, and get to your happy place. But I try, you know, I try every single day to to do something that makes me happy and then I just try to hold that for as long as possible in my body because I know it's a transmission. Just me gardening and picking like lemon basil and putting it in a salad is a transmission and it is a magnetic transmission and I will draw back to me not another salad necessarily but I will draw back to me a condition that simply matches that blissed out signal so it could be a relationship It could be an opportunity, it could be a job, it could be whatever, but it's gonna match that high vibration resonance and that high vibration transmission. So look for those things in your life, that's what I do, Denise, and and I have had great success. In fact, since I've been using the Bliss Discipline over the last, I don't know, four or five years, probably since 2011, my entire life is different. Like you wouldn't recognize me if you knew me in 2010. Well, I was a little thinner. I was a little thinner, I will say. Um, but I, I wasn't necessarily happy. I wouldn't because I was getting out of a marriage and I was kind of spun out and I was out of alignment. But when I started practicing the bliss discipline, my whole life changed. This is how I met my husband. This is how I, I, I moved to a new place. This is how everything started to flow. And now here I am and I'm so grateful. And it's because I do believe I practice the bliss discipline.